students, I am going to teach you the Fauchitz test. How it is to be done. What is Fauchitz test? It is a test to detect the bilirubin in the urine. And if the bilirubin is coming out in the urine, of course it is conjugated bilirubin because that will be soluble and filters into the urine. So how it is being done? What all reagents you require? What is the significance of this test? Everything I will tell you in the short and crisp video. First of all, you must see that what reagents are needed for doing this test. We need to have 10% barium chloride. We need to have 1% magnesium sulfate. And of course, the urine will be given to you. And um, this is this is unknown urine. You have to find out whether it is having the bilirubin or not. And what is most important, you have to use the Fauchitz reagent for doing this test. This Fauchitz reagent is freshly prepared by using 10% ferric chloride in measured amount and 25% trichloroacetic acid. TCA, trichloroacetic acid, is going to use as a stabilizer of ferric chloride reagent and will make it soluble in the solution. Right, so with these reagents, we are going to perform the Fauchitz test. For this, you have to take 5 ml of urine in the test tube. I have already taken 5 ml of <coughs> urine in the test tube. Now this, in this urine sample, now you have to use 1 ml of magnesium sulfate. Then after that, you have to use, you have to mix it thoroughly, boil it and then cool it. So that magnesium sulfate is properly mixed in this urine solution. And after cooling, you have to use 10% barium chloride, 6 to 7 drops. There is no harm if you are using little more amount of barium sulfate. It is only a qualitative test. And the purpose of using this magnesium sulfate and magnesium chloride, you must know clearly. We just want to make some precipitate of barium sulfate in the urine. For that, I added magnesium sulfate and then barium chloride. Natural urine is having the sulfate in it, so you don't need to use the magnesium sulfate. You just add the barium chloride, it will give you barium sulfate precipitate. You can see the white precipitate of barium sulfate here, thick precipitate, right? Magnesium sulfate you may not be using in the normal urine because anticipating the fact that normal urine is having so much sulfate. As I have told you in my other videos as well, this urine is only, always artificially prepared. So this was not having the sulfate, so we added magnesium sulfate and then added the barium chloride to get the precipitate of barium sulfate. Now this urine sample is to be filtered. This is the filter paper, Wattman number one filter paper is being used and let's see how it is being folded. It has to be folded in this fashion. This is very important, you know, how it is to be folded. Then you open it like this and you place it in a funnel. This test is also known as filter paper test because we are using filter paper in this test. In no other test in biochemistry practical, we are using filter paper. So we will place this whole urine solution into top of this filter paper and we'll wait for some time, say for example, 7, 8 or 10 minutes time for this uh, urine to get filtered. So the filtrate which will be there in the tube will be thrown away and what we are going to use is the filter paper which is now having the barium sulfate over here. What happens if the urine is having bilirubin that will be adsorbed onto this barium sulfate. So assuming that bilirubin is there in the urine, now we understand though visibly we cannot see the bilirubin here, it is adsorbed on the barium sulfate precipitate. Now we have to dry this paper in the hot air oven at 50 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. And after drying this paper carefully, you take out this paper and just add, this is a dried paper where, where you can see the barium sulfate precipitate and probably the bilirubin if it is there is like absorbed on the barium sulfate. Right, now you just have to add 2 drops of, just two, don't use much of the amount, just 2 drops of Fauchet's reagent is poured on this filter filtrate, fil uh, this precipitate on the filter paper. And you have to keep this filter paper now again in the hot air oven for 5 minutes at 50 degrees Celsius. And after drying, you will observe whether any color is changed or not. You will see that this is how 
the color will change. What color you can see? It's a leafy green color. After drying the paper, after addition of Hodgkin's test, when you are drying it, after drying, when you observe the filter paper, you can see the green color on the top of the filter paper. Presence of leafy green color on the filter paper denotes that bilirubin was present in the urine. So what is the concept behind it? This is a positive for test telling you conjugated bilirubin is there in the urine. And which type of jaundice you get to have conjugated bilirubin in the urine? It's a hepato uh, jaundice where you have got obstruction of the biliary canaliculi somewhere or it is a pure obstructive jaundice. In prehepatic jaundice, you don't have conjugated bilirubin floating into the plasma. So you don't get the bilirubin in the urine. Right? So this test positive means it is either obstructive jaundice or some cases of hepatic jaundice where edematous cells, hepatic cells are causing obstruction and causing the regurgitation of conjugated bilirubin into the plasma. Only conjugated bilirubin can come out in the urine. Unconjugated bilirubin cannot come out in the urine. Why? The reason is unconjugated bilirubin is not soluble in the plasma. So for being becoming soluble, it is binding with the albumin. This unconjugated bilirubin and albumin complex becomes huge and it is not filtered out from the kidney. But conjugated bilirubin, it's there in the free form. It is not binding with the albumin. Size is small enough for it to filter out. So if the fortress is positive in the urine, it is always the conjugated bilirubin that you must know. And that is going to increase in the plasma, conjugated bilirubin is going to increase in the plasma in hepatic and post-hepatic jaundice alone. Now talking to you regarding why this kind of green discoloration is there. See, we prepared the barium sulfate in the urine, we filtered it, we got the precipitate of barium sulfate and the bilirubin which is adsorbed onto the uh, barium sulfate is now undergoing oxidation to bilirubin which is green in color. How the oxidation is taking place? It's by ferric chloride of the Fouchet's reagent, right? So ferric chloride is going to oxidize the bilirubin to bilirubin, which is going to be green color. And that will stand out so well on the filter paper. So this is the principle behind this Fouchet's test. And this is all about the Fouchet's test. Thank you very much. And for more information, you can refer practical book biochemistry written by me. It's there in the second edition. And uh, you subscribe my channel for more such videos. Thank you very much.